Good morning from South Africa. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Vinod Narayanan. I head the international business at Phoenix Medical Systems. Uh, I would like to give a brief introduction about Phoenix. Phoenix is a 32-year-old company engaged in the manufacture export of uh, neonatal and maternal care equipment. We make infant incubators, radiant warmers, CPAP transport incubators, delivery beds, um, uh, and assistive devices uh, such as you know smart cane for the visually impaired and a standing wheelchair for the paraplegics. We are in the COVID uh, care as well. We make uh, adult ventilators and. Uh, uh, what do you call heaven hoods, non-invasive uh, ventilation, helmet-based non-invasive ventilation. Um, I would like to quickly, uh, you know, present a, 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 a PowerPoint on Phoenix, where we are at this point of time. Uh, so please just go through this. It's it's a short PowerPoint. Yes. All right. Okay. So this is Phoenix. Uh, uh, this is our managing director, Mr. Sashi Kumar. Uh, uh, typically. Uh, a technocrat uh, passing out from one of the premium institutes of India called IIT, Indian Institute of Technology. So uh, typically people of his caliber, they pass out from IIT and they go to the US. But uh, Mr. Sashi realized that there is a dearth of medical equipment, neonatal medical equipment in India. And his project was to make a prototype of an infant incubator, which he placed in a leading mother and child hospital in Chennai. And that's when the doctor community realized that the prototype what uh, Sashi Kumar had made was very good and then at that point of time there were no medical equipment, neonatal medical equipment manufactured in India. They were imported, expensive, expensive to maintain, expensive spare parts. This is when Sashi realized that he must take it up as, uh, as an enterprise and the doctor fraternity uh, said that they would support him. But what started off as in a very small 850 square feet uh, uh, has churned out in the last 30 years where we are having three big factories of, uh, you know, a, a combined square feet of more than 100,000 square feet, square meters rather. So that's what it is. Um, uh, he's the one, he's the founder, managing director of Phoenix Medical Systems. Um, well, what you're looking at is, is, the, is the range of products what we manufacture. We are into infant care predominantly and we do the maternal care as well, where we do the delivery beds, labor delivery recovery beds, weighing scales and the bassinets, and assistive technologies, where I mentioned earlier is that we do the smart cane for the visually impaired and a standing wheelchair where the paraplegic can crank himself up and make himself stand without any external support. So this is mainly the business models what we have. How have we won constantly over the last 30 years? Yes, uh, Phoenix is more of an innovation company uh, we we uh, uh, take the feedback from the end users and all our products are basically made uh, after the feedbacks given by the doctors and the end users over here. So we are we, we are proudly call ourselves uh, as an Indian multinational with world class standards. Okay, we we are a company which uh, we have our R and D center you know recognized by the government of India and what you see over here is the. A uh, few photographs of the R&D department and uh, the research and development team also is head by our uh, managing director. As I said, he's a technocrat by nature. And uh, these are the technology partnerships what we have uh, with uh, very renowned universities across the world. We have uh, DREV over here now called Equalize Health where we've come about with the Brilliance Pro phototherapy, a UNICEF approved product, a Nest approved product and uh, being sold in 55 countries. The second product what you see is a smart cane. This is uh, uh, for the uh, visually impaired, uh, made by IIT Delhi. And number three is uh, what I spoke spoke about earlier: is the Arai standing wheelchair, where the uh, you know a paraplegic can crank himself and make himself stand up without any external support. Uh, all these products have been immensely awarded nationally and internationally. And yes, this is one of uh, uh, the breakthrough innovations come, which, which is going to become about from Phoenix is the cardboard incubator. And the next one, what you see is the Embrace Innovations, the Embrace Nest Infant Warmer, which is currently being supplied in huge numbers to Ukraine where the war is going on. We are supplying around close to 3,000 units to UNICEF who are in, in turn supplying it to Ukraine. And uh, what you see, the other one is the New Breathe, which is the uh, foot operated, uh, world's first foot operated resuscitation device with the uh, integrated suction. So as you see, we have very, very unique uh, and innovative products over here. Um, this is the Numo ventilator, which we manufactured and designed in 100 days when COVID hit the entire world. Uh, 
at that point of time the government of india was wanting uh, us to be self sufficient and not wanting to us uh, import ventilators into the country phoenix realized the importance and we came about with a ventilator uh, kudos to our r&d department who worked day and night 24 by 7 365 days i mean there's no 365 days over here they made it in 100 days and they're, they're about coming up with the uh, new more adult ventilator and of course we have the uh, haven hood which is a transparent non invasive helmet based ventilation uh which is worn by covid patients uh yes we have the delayed cord cord uh, clamping unit resuscitation trolley the cardboard incubator which we already spoke about and the heating and cooling mattress called brami uh, which is currently finished by r&d department and into commercial production um this is just a what do you call clinical paper about the disposable low cost uh, cardboard incubator uh, which currently phoenix is uh, uh, doing and uh, it is in the r&d stages at this point of time uh, phoenix also makes delivery tables um, we see that uh, uh, these delivery tables are you know uh, purely based on what uh, the doctor's feedback have been and what is more convenient for the mother and less traumatic to the uh, what do you call expecting mother so phoenix makes delivery tables as well and we have you know we are in partnership with the state government of tamil nadu to uh we we have uh, um, given a very good uh, what do you call uh, a birthing suite which we have partnered with the government of tamil nadu and uh, uh, and thereby you know we're giving a a very uh, a joyous atmosphere to the expecting mother we have three plants in india sri perundur plant we have one plant in pondicherry another plant in visakhapatnam so uh, all these three plants are in india we don't have any manufacturing plants outside of india uh we have a 50 plus service team uh, uh, as you realize that india is a 1.3 billion population we are the largest unit like equipment manufacturer in india and the installation base is tremendously large humongously large and then we require these kind of people to maintain and take care of the upkeep of the equipment uh besides uh, equipment also uh, we do the nic and labor design so if there's any hospital which is coming up with the uh, nicu uh, we always provide them with the layout as per the uh, you know international standards and if they are going for a jci accreditation later on in uh, later on uh, this would be very useful that they can see that the nicu and the labor design uh, uh, units are uh, made uh, in accordance to international standards right so we have branch offices in amsterdam dubai and south africa currently where i'm sitting and i'm i'm manning the office from here and our focus markets have been southeast asia africa south central america and east europe we have one large uh, unicef tenders and who tenders i mean uh, projects in africa and yes these are some of the what do you call awards what we have received over the years in 2021 we got the engineer in uh, india product of the award for the new ventilator in 2017 we got another time india micro small and medium enterprise manufacturer so that uh, these are the feathers of the cap phoenix and these are the other two uh, what do you call awards what you're looking at and again you know the, the, these are the awards and you can see the embrace which is the innovator is uh, jane chen which uh, you have our ex uh, president of the united states barack obama and you have uh, a uh, current prime minister Dr. mr narendra modi handing out the what you call smart cane and you have a late president mr pranab mukherjee also uh, uh, you know giving an award for the new breed few little pictures just to understand to show showcase the strength of phoenix as a technology company and this is the leadership team mr shashi kumar whom i've already given a brief explanation and his wife mrs smitha shashi kumar who's ably handling the company's uh, Uh, hr activities and production activities thank you and just would like to quickly go through the product portfolio uh, we have the warmers uh, over here we have a range of warmers uh, warmers uh, uh, basic infant warmers up to warmers having uh, integrated uh, pulse oximetry cpap wing scale height adjustment uh, top of the range we have incubators we have uh, intensive care incubators with serve ser- humidification oxygenation high adjustment touch screen display and we have a transport incubator as well with regards to jaundice management we have uh, the world famous brilliance pro uh, which has been designed in partnership with uh, equalize health uh, formerly called dref we have uh, double surface phototherapy we have the swast cpap new breathe oxygen monitor the station bags and oxygen hoods 
And with regards to delivery, uh, I mean, maternal care, we have the delivery beds and the labor delivery couches. We have the baby accessories like uh, what you call bassinets and scales. COVID care, as I said earlier, we have the ventilator and the heaven hoods. And the assistive technology, we have the smart cane, standing wheelchair and the reshable brain display. Well, that's about it. Uh, this is a brief introduction of Phoenix and where we stand in terms of technology. 